Alright, let's check it out. Dashing in controls forward, forward quickly or press the dash button. The opponent is trying to open the distance between you and them. Dash forward to chase them. Restricted actions, jump, attacks. All right, let's go. Uh, what? Hold on, wait, 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 wait. What, what happened right there? Okay. They want me to do it again. Uh, all right. Thank you. For most characters, the best opportunity to land a damaging combo is in the close range. Try to land a close range, uh, a close triangle attack once you've approached the opponent. I'm going on the back dash. Controls. Uh, back, back swiftly or press back plus dash button. Kai will perform an attack after jumping. Perform a back dash to avoid his attack. Restricted actions. Jump and attack. Let's go, Kai. Ooh. All right. Ooh. All right, one more. Ooh. Nice. Uh, the properties of the back dash for each character varies. Uh, change the way you use the back dash depending on the character you use. Double jump. Okay, let me see. Avoid Milia's circle tandem top by performing a double jump. You've failed if you get hit or attack. Uh, hold on. Get hit or block her attack. Restrict actions, moving forward, uh, jumping forward, and attack. I think I'm ready. What did I do wrong there? Wait. What? Do, okay, I gotta get out the way, right? I can't get out the way. How do I get out the way and double jump? Wait, this doesn't count. This doesn't count. I can't. Wait, I gotta retry that. That didn't count. How am I avoiding this? How can I avoid this? I'm the best. Easy. Okay. Gotcha. Thank you. I appreciate it. Some characters cannot double jump. Whereas some characters can perform a triple jump. Keep in mind that kind of jump is available for your character. High jump controls. Down and up quickly. Perform a high jump and land an attack on Zato 1. Was floating in midair. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Nothing like a good high jump. Uh, when you jump over an opponent with a regular jump, you will not turn to face the opponent until you land on the ground. Jumping over an opponent with a high jump will allow you to change the direction you face mid-air, allowing you to switch positions while attacking. Close triangle and far triangle aka slash the standing triangle changes depending on the distance between you and the opponent try performing it at a different distance to find out which distance the far triangle changes to the close triangle so meaning slash so either close slash or far slash close close far <laughs> Got it. We in there. Although the distance at which you could perform close slash is limited, it is a well balanced move that is fast and powerful. In Soul's case, he has three unique mo uh, unique moves in his arsenal. Input a direction with an attack button and land th the three different unique moves on the opponent. Already gonna be winning tournaments just by this one mission. 
All right. Easy. Uh, you can check the list of moves available in the command list uh, from the pause menu. The command list also provides a short description of what each move does. Gatling combos. Try performing the following Gatling combo. Close slash crouching uh, slash heavy slash. Uh, the trick to performing a Gatling combination is to press the next button right when the current attack lands. Try not to mash the button in ex hold on. Try not to mash the button in succession, but instead press them in a rhythm. Alright, let's try it. Ooh. Okay. Wait, that that didn't count. Gatlings. Good. Uh, Gatling combination you can connect into various Gatling combinations from close slash available Gatling combination varies depending on the current attack you are performing make sure to familiarize yourself with the different Gatling combinations stand standing blocking and crouching block controls hold in the direction opposite the opponent hold down back to perform a crouching block against the opponent ground attack hold back to perform a standing block against the opponent Attack from mid-air. Stay in the cross position and change the standing block position when the opponent is in the air. Restrictions. Moving forward. Jump and attack. Right. Got it. Uh-huh. Okay, you don't have mix. He doesn't have mix. Don't get hit. Okay. Uh-huh. Ooh. He's definitely not hitting me. Wait. Ooh, he almost got me. Hey! Listen, I wasn't ready. Okay. Alright. Uh, the better you are at blocking, the lesser damage you will receive. Keep in mind that there are few ground attacks that cannot be blocked using the crouching button. Ground throw. Back or forward plus R1 when you close when you're close to the opponent. Use ground throw to deal damage when the opponent is concentrated on blocking. You can decide which direction to throw the opponent by the direction input when performing the ground throw. Nice. Let's do a back throw. Mm, nice. Ending it off with another forward throw. Nice. Ground throw can be avoided by jumping or moving away. Whiffing a ground throw will leave you wide open for a, a counter attack. Use ground throw only when uh, the opponent is on the ground and is close to you. Dust attack controls R1. Land a dust attack against the opponent who is crouch blocking. So I'm going to hold dust. And that is the overhead attack. One more. Complete I rock. Thank you. The startup of the dust attack is fast, making it difficult to react to and switch to stand block. Uh, use dust attack frequently against opponent who has a habit of crouching. The character's direction. Confirm that the command for alpha blade horizontal changes when you are facing left and right. Restrictions jump. Okay, so we're going to alpha blade from the player one side going through Kai to the player two side. Gotcha. Let's do it. I'm ready. Got it. Now I'm going to go to the next side, which is player on one side. Let me get him one more time. Okay. Okay. Complete. The character's direction. The command listed in the command list is when the opponent is on your right. Keep that in mind when you are memorizing your command. Blue Psych Burst. Dang, that image looks kind of cool. Controls. R1 plus any attack button when blocking or receiving damage. Uh, damage. Disrupt the opponent's attack by landing the, bur uh, the blue psych burst. Take note of the opponent's movement as the burst might miss depending on the burst timing. Let's see how it goes. That kind of scared me. I wasn't, I wasn't really anticipating Axel to move for some reason. But we, we got the first one. We're going to... Okay, <laughs> I thought he was just gonna hit me, but he, he kind of like started playing neutral. I was about to, you know, I was about to go in. Blue bursting right here. 
A small portion of the bl uh, the burst gauge recovers upon a successful hit with the blue sight burst. Make sure to time it well when performing the burst. Charging the tension gauge, which is pretty much your meter. Attack the opponent and fill up your tension gauge to 50%. You can fill up the gauge by attacking or advancing towards your opponent. So you can move forward and get meter in this game. That's kind of cheap. Let's charge it by going forward. That's cheap. That's that. That's cheap. Look at that. I'm just walking and I'm getting meter. What kind of game is this? Hey, what? Do I have a time limit? <laughs> this is a dash, by the way. This is definitely just his dash. He could just keep running. I'm just holding the dash button. He is definitely moving. He's sh moving. All right, nice. Uh, actions that require tension are extremely powerful. Many offensive and defensive options will become available, and a player's characteristic can be shown by their tension gauge. Consider how you spend tension during matches to match your playstyle. Okay, so now we're doing combos. I don't know how long this is gonna take me to do because I've never seen their type of combos with this character. So this is probably gonna take me a while. I, and this is the first time I've seen the name of these moves, by the way. Okay, so we're doing quarter circle back, X, forward. No, quarter circle back, X. Why is there like no time? You know what I'm saying? Like there's no like time I can just like see to where like, okay, I gotta hurry up and do this before the time runs out. And then give me a chance. Oh, it's not a combo. Oh, it's not a combo. That's crazy. That's crazy. I wasted two turns. And nobody told me. You guys are just sitting there looking at me like, yeah, this dude doesn't know how to play this game. All right, overdrive command. So these are the supers. She's glowing right now. So we're going to do the ground super. Which is forward, uh, quarter circle, let's just half circle back, forward circle, and then we're going to do the air super, I messed it up, there we go, down forward, down forward, heavy slash. Nice. I'm gonna do cold slash, far slash, heavy slash. Got it. Easy peasy. Gatling combos. One button after the other. Air dash. Forward, forward, quickly. Or press the dash button in midair. Avoid the incoming gun flame using air dash and attack the opponent from the air. Air dash heavy slash. Yep, that's it right there. I don't know about that one. One more. Nice. I rock. Although the air dash is an excellent option for advancing in, the startup motion is slightly long, making it susceptible to counter attacks. All right, air back dash controls back back quickly or back dash button in mid uh, mid air, performing an, an uh, air back dash to draw distance from the opponent. Restricted attacks. Okay, I could just do it right away. I'm not even dodging anything. All right, I'll take that. Unlike the air dash, the air back dash has no startup motion, allowing you to move immediately. It is especially useful for avoiding the opponent's mid-air attacks. So right after slash, we jump. I did that. What do they want me to do? What do they want me to do? Alright, I got it now. Success. 
Most of the character's close slash is jump cancelable. When blocking the opponent's close slash, keep in mind that they can jump cancel and pr be prepared to counter their incoming attack. Two types of knockdowns. Let's take a look at the different knockdown states from a sweep and bandit revolver. Although bandit revolver is easy, easy to connect, uh, at the end of a combo, the opponent will be able to recover immediately after being knocked down. All right, what am I doing? I'm sweeping. And then I'm a bandit revolver after. Okay, boom. All right, so that's one knockdown. Another knockdown is when they're like rolling backwards. Gotcha. So those are the only two type of knockdowns. Boom. Boom. All right. Landing a sweep on a ground opponent, uh, opponent will knock the opponent down and they will not be able to recover immediately. Although you can follow up with additional attacks on a knockdown opponent to deal extra damage. The opponent will recover immediately after that. You have the option to deal more damage or have better positioning after such knockdown. Low attacks. Land a low attack to deal damage against an opponent who is stand blocking. All characters can perform a sweep crouching r1 which is a low attack all right boom boom nice as there are many important uh, opportunities to land a low attack in a match the combo damage from a low attack will directly affect the outcome of the match mastering a combo that starts from a low attack is the first step to increasing your win rate overhead attacks Land an overhead attack to deal damage against an opponent who is crouch blocking. Now, all characters can perform a dust attack, standing R1, which is an overhead attack. All right, we did this one before. So right now I'm just pressing it. I'm not holding it. All right. Uh, keeping your opponent guessing whether to stand or block your attacks is the basics of opening up your opponent's defense. Mix up your offense and make sure or not to use one type of attack too much so basically just don't go autopilot special move cancel let's try performing the following combos bandit revolver uh, the trick to landing the special move to input the special moves directional motion before the heavy slash lands press the corresponding attacks buttons uh, button once you perform uh, confirm that the heavy slash lands heavy slash for a circle more to take your gameplay to the next level practice changing the special move you cancel into depending uh cancel into depending on if your previous attacks have been blocked or not uh do take note that certain special uh, special moves cannot be special canceled then. approaching the opponent the opponent is trying to use a charge stun edge to create an opportunity to get in on you. Hit the opponent before the projectile is active. Okay. I don't even think I have to be that close. Yeah. Nice. Uh, moves with long range and short recovery are suitable for zoning. Each character has zoning moves in their arsenal. Try them all out to find out which one is appropriate for different situations. Punish the opponent's whiffed attack. Alright, whiff punishing. Make the opponent attack by walking backwards and punish their move with a uh, forward heavy slash. When successful, the word punish will be displayed on the screen so they're basically saying play some footsies or say what he's gonna do all right that's what he's doing this is a whiff punish this is really good i don't think any game really <laughs> talks about like whiff punishing that not that i know of this is pretty cool nice uh, if you are too focused on whiff punishing the opponent, it will become difficult to react when the opponent suddenly advances in on you. Do not anticipate only one action from the opponent and be ready for several options in an actual match. Stop the opponent's dash. Place a counter poke to catch the opponent who is about to dash in. The trick is to place your attack in the zone where you predict the opponent is moving toward. Alright, let's see. Let's see how... Okay, there we go. 
stopping his approach. Counter poke can be countered by staggering the timing of your approach and countering it when it whiffs. Try to be less predictable when, whenever you try to attack preemptively. Overdrives. It seems the opponent intends to blue psych burst on the on the third hit to escape. Deal more than 150 damage against the opponent without them performing a blue psych burst. What soul's overdrive move? They don't, they don't even tell me. Overdrives must most of the overdrives uh, moves will cause an area shift to occur when it connects near the corner of the stage. Since your tension gauge increases gradually after an area shift, it is one of the best options uh, you have during a combo in the corner. Uh, gold sight burst R1 plus any attack button when not blocking or receiving damage. Land a gold psych burst on the opponent to increase your tension gauge. So we're gonna psych burst our opponent so we can get full meter. That is a gold psych burst. Easy. Yep, there's a difference. So the blue burst is when he has you in the combo and you, you burst causing a blue burst. But if he doesn't have you in a combo and you just burst and you hit him, it's called the gold burst. As performing a gold burst, a uh, gold psych burst will deplete the burst gauge. You will not be able to perform a psych burst for quite a while after performing this move. Uh, that means that the blue psych burst will not be available for you during the next time the opponent is attacking you. Keep that in mind before performing this move. A faultless defense controls back or down back plus two attack buttons except r1 which is dust although performing faultless defense requires tension you can easily get uh the opponent off of you once you've uh once you've opened up the distance between you and your opponent you can go for a counter attack against the opponent's whipped attack so i'm gonna down back and press two buttons for fault faultless defense never mind I'm gonna hold uh, back and then two buttons go. I see. Okay. Although it is an effective defense technique, using this move to uh, too much will leave you with no tension gauge. Once you have gotten used to using faultless defense, practicing limiting this technique using to certain parts of your opponent's attacks to reduce the amount of tension spent. So when you hold tension, so if you hold back and press two buttons at the same time or hold two buttons at the same time, it gradually uh, depletes your tension gauge, so your meter. So you can't just do this freely. Intercept the opponent's jumps, jumping attack with forward uh, punch. A successful ground to air depends on the anti-air moves timing and the distance between you and the opponent. Find out uh, at which situations you can anti-air your opponent aerial move. Basically the anti-air of the game. Kai is definitely the best at it. Nice. Although forward and square, which is forward and punch, is an excellent anti-air move, its effectiveness is greatly varied depending on the opponent's position. Be prepared to use the other options when you feel that it is not effectively intercept intercepting your opponent's attack. Air to air. Intercept the opponent's jumping attacks with jumping X. So this is jumping kick basically. You're required to move faster as compared to a ground to air attempt. Gotcha. I'm about to kick. Air to air is a high level technique that requires quick judgment and does not guarantee a successful attempt at intercepting the opponents uh, every time. It is only especially effective I guess po opponents who try to avoid ground to air. So make sure you analyze the situation carefully before deciding which move to use. Recover from the stagger state after getting hit by the second hit of Ramathal, whatever that move is called, and guard the following up attack. While in the stagger state, a special gauge will be displayed. Press any attack button immediately after the gauge 
disappears to reduce the duration of the stagger state. All right. Wait, wait. I pressed square to get ready, but I really wasn't ready. Okay. Wait, what am I supp- Oh, okay. Got it. Okay, so they want me to recover by mashing, <laughs> by mashing there. So during this stagger state, there's a point in time where a button will, will hover over your uh, over your head to where you can mash it to recover from uh, the next hit that is about to hit you. I, I understand now. There we go. Mashing to get out of the stagger. Nice. Uh, you can throw the opponent when the uh, when they are in the stagger state. It is best to quickly recover from the stagger state to prevent any further damage. It is also important to know which of the opponent's move will induce the stagger state. Try following up with forward circle uh, after knocking the opponent down with a sweep crouching R1, which is crouching dust. Uh, do take note that the following up attack will not hit if performed too late. Gotcha. Sweep. Mm. Uh, when the opponent has little life left, performing a follow-up uh, follow-up move might decide the outcome of a match. Use a high damaging move whenever you perform uh, a follow-up attack. Okay, combo special cancel. So we're just gonna we're doing combos now. So I'm pretty sure this is so close slash. Uh, heavy slash, put a circle back, kick. Easy. All right. Dash and block. Try approaching Kai that is performing stun edge by dashing and blocking. Uh, restrictions jump. Dash block, huh? You want me to dash block? I got you. Dash block. Watch this. Wait, okay. All right, all right, all right. Mm hmm. Get in there. I'll take that. Although it is easy to avoid projectiles by jumping, you will become open to anti air attacks. Mixing an approach attempts from the ground will make you less predictable uh dash cancel lend a counter hit with close slash and cancel it with a dash cancel then follow up with another attack boom 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 Unlike normal dash, dash cancel covers a fixed distance once it is performed. Therefore, there is a small gap of an opening for the opponent to launch an attack, a counter attack. Make sure to mix in an option for when your opponent anticipates a dash cancel in your offense. Air dash cancel. Connect the combo from an air to air jumping X, uh, which is jumping K. Hit by canceling it with an air dash. Okay, I got it, 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 I got it. <laughs> Let's go! Alright, alright. Mmm, okay, nice. Performing an air dash cancel only after confirming whether your attack hits or has been blocked by the opponent can be difficult. Try to have an offensive pressure combination where it does not matter whether your attack is hit or blocked. Countering a throw. Jump to avoid the opponent's throw attempt and punish it with an attack when it's whiff. Uh, jumping forward or backward will draw distance between you and the opponent. Make sure that you jump upward so that you are within range to punish their throw. I don't know when he's going to throw so much up right now. Got it. Alright, we're in there. Uh, you can also avoid a throw by back dashing or using a move that keeps you off the ground using the most damaging option when you read an incoming throw will make them think twice about throwing again red roman 
cancel. Press three attack buttons except for R1, which is dust, uh, simultaneously when an attack hits or uh, is blocked. Requires 50% tension. After landing an attack on the opponent, use the red roaming cancel and land a follow-up attack to extend your combo. Um, so we're gonna land an attack, ran roaming cancel, and then land another attack. All right. Actually, that's a fast roaming cancel. I'm gonna just do the normal one. Nice. Good. Red Roman cancel. You will be in an advantage position even when your opponent blocks the uh, Roman cancels. Red shockwave. It is especially powerful when used after a charge, uh, after charging a move that is difficult to react to. Yellow Roman cancel. Press three attack buttons except for R1, which is dust, simultaneously when blocking the opponent's attack. Requires 50% tension gauge. Use the yellow Roman cancel to escape from the opponent's offense. Restrictions, moving forward and jump and attack. Got it. Uh, you are suitable to counter attacks if uh, the yellow shockwave is blocked by the opponent. Avoid using it when blocking quick attacks such as square, which is P, which is punch, or X, which is K, which is kick. And save it for when blocking attacks with long recovery such as triangle, which is slash, or circle, which is heavy slash. Purple. Roman cancel. Press three attack buttons except for R1 which is dust. Simultaneously during the recovery of your attack requires 50% tension gauge. The opponent will avoid your throw with a jump. Use the purple Roman cancel to recover earlier and avoid or block the opponent's counter attempt. So we're gonna try to throw May. She's gonna jump it and then we're gonna cancel our throw to purple Roman cancel to cancel that throw. <laughs> to make us safe, which I got hit. All right, there we go. Uh, moves with high return come with a long recovery. Use them with purple uh, roaming cancel to reduce the risk of getting countered. Uh, when the move whiffs. However, do take note that certain invulnerable moves cannot be canceled with the purple Roman cancel. Blue Roman cancel. Uh, press three attack buttons except for R1, which is dust, simultaneously when you can move freely. Uh, requires 50% tension gauge. The blue shockwave slows the opponent even when they are in the knockback state. You can use it to connect combos that is usually not possible. Damn. All right, so blue Roman cancels basically slowing down your opponent, which slows down the hit stun. So usually this combo wouldn't work, but since I slowed down his hit stun, it makes it possible. Nice. Uh, using the blue Roman cancel during the opponent's wake up is also effective as you can uh, confirm your opponent's next move before planning what to do next. This is just one example of many applications of the blue Roman cancel. Try using it in different situations to find out the best way to utilize it. Preemptive input. Do the combo all the way to dire uh, accolade regardless of whether the opponent blocks your attack or not. Dire accolade is a low risk move that is relatively safe even when blocked, making it suitable to use in both a combo and a block string. All right, preemptive buttons. So I'm basically inputting the last input, which is down a uh, quarter circle back triangle as he's doing the heavy slash. Nice. 
If an attack with a huge recovery is blocked by the opponent, there is a high chance you will be punished with a high damage combo from the opponent. Uh, use moves that have slight recovery and leaves a distance between you and the opponent when blocked. Hit confirm on the ground. Perform close slash uh, to forward slash and confirm if it hit or it is blocked. Link it into Bandit Revolver if it is hit. All right. Mm, first try. Yo, hit confirms. Mm. All right, let's go. Practice until you are able to confirm your attacks during your block stream and perform different special moves according to the situation. When your attack is blocked, link it into a move that leaves you in the advantage. Hit confirm in the air. Perform jumping uh, square to jumping square and confirm it if it hit or is blocked. Link it into bandit revolver if it is hit. This one's a, a little easier. You get you get more. Of, you get a better look of when it's gonna hit because you're doing two attacks. It is challenging to hit confirm a single hit. Use attacks that can be canceled into itself or the Gatling combination so that you can hit confirm on the second hit. Meaty attacks, ooh, which I know about meaties. After a normal throw, time and perform an attack just as the opponent is recovering. If performed correctly, the opponent will not be able to jump away and will receive the attack grounded. There we go. Meaty. For meaty attacks, using attacks that have less recovery on block is favorable. Try out each move of your character to find out which move is suitable for meaty attack. Uh, counter hit. Land a forward square, which is forward P, which is the anti-air, and sweep. Crouching R1 and confirm the knockback when they are counter hit. Uh, when a counter hit occurs, the word counter will appear on the screen. Just a counter. No, okay, I'm just doing them separate. I guess they're just showing us the counter. Gotcha. All right, the effect when landing a counter hit differs depending on the move used to land the counter hit. A slow motion will occur during a counter hit and the duration of the opponent's knockback is extended. Hit confirm the counter hit and extend the combo to deal high damage to the opponent. Gotcha. Invulnerable move. The triangle version which is slash of volcanic viper is invulnerable at the beginning of the move use invulnerable move to counter kai's fudra art restrictions is jump all right hold on time out wait 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 that's that's fast what am i supposed to do what do you want me to do i don't understand okay i may i may need help on this one how do i what do I do? Volcanic Viper. Vol Volcanic Viper is the DP, right? How do I DP that fast? What am I supposed to do? Backdash? Oh, you block it. Dang, you got to block. I got it. I got it. Now, let me restart. Got it. Okay. I thought I was supposed to do it on that move, the first move. But this says, it does say don't get hit. So, okay. That was my mistake. I'm sorry. All right, we're done with that one. Although invulnerable moves are extremely useful, they have a long recovery. If you whiff an invulnerable move, you'll become suitable to the opponent's counterattack. Uh, try not to be predictable in your usage of invulnerable moves. Escaping from the corner of the screen. Kai will start his offense. Try escaping without receiving in any damage. Use faultless defense to push him back and escape using high jump once there is enough distance between you and him. 
They don't really tell. Well, I mean, I guess they do, but like, I don't know what Kai is gonna do. You know, <laughs> I didn't know he was gonna do this string. All right, I'm out. Uh, when you are cornered, you will probably end up using some tension to escape the corner. Try to keep that in mind and avoid being cornered during a match. Wall break. Attack the opponent in the corner until a wall break occurs. Using certain overdrive moves in the corner will immediately trigger a wall break. Break the wall right now. Thank you. When a wall break occurs from an overdrive move, you will be able to move earlier than the opponent after the area shift. So you get you get Oki basically. You get advantage. Utilize the overdrive move to wall break to continue your offense. Positive bonus. Fill up your tension gauge to 50% in the positive bonus state. While in the positive bonus state, your tension gauge will increase significantly just by advancing forward or attacking the opponent. got it although the duration of the positive bonus state does not last long you can easily fill up the gauge to 50 percent if you move assertively uh, you will require tension to perform specific uh, actions so make sure you fill up the tension gauge whenever you feel whenever you have the chance right. what come on man i made this character how are you gonna say that Good. Let's go. Achievement. Dash momentum. I uh, use the dash momentum to jump over Potemkin's circle, which is heavy slash, and land a counter hit or a counter attack. Sorry. Restriction. Restricted action. Air dash. Dash quick, and then jump slash. All right. Let's see this. I, I thought I did it. That was that's what I did the first time. I don't like this. I don't like that one. But that's the momentum. Another method to make use of the dash momentum is to perform a move while you are dashing. Uh, by doing so, you will travel slightly forward before the move is performed. Use dash momentum to further increase the range of your attacks when you have trouble hitting the opponent that is far away. Follow up attack after a dust attack. Hold the dust attack, launch the opponent in the air, and chase after opponent for a follow up combo by pressing up after landing the hit. You can perform a finishing blow by pressing the same button twice during the follow-up attack. I'm gonna just do my normal dust combo in there. Alright. Nice. When you end the following, uh, when you end the follow-up combo with the finishing blow, you can move slightly earlier than the opponent when you land. It also does a decent amount of damage, so make sure you end the following, uh, the follow-up combo with a finishing blow whenever you get the chance. Uh, trigger a risk counter by maxing out the opponent's risk level and open and opening their guard with a low attack. Uh, you will fail this mission if you do not trigger a risk counter within the time limit. Oh, so I gotta build up their risk bar, which is the little, the bar at the top, the purple. I gotta fill that all the way up and then do a low attack. All right, so it's all the way up. The caution bar is, you know, pulsating. Okay, now go low, bam. That is the risk level. So once the risk level is all the way up, the next the next attack that you hit your opponent with will cause a counter hit. No, got it. Uh, you can increase the damage you deal by increasing the opponent's risk level. Even if your attack is blocked, it is not for not 
as it will increase the damage of the next attack you hit. Why they say it like that? Crouch only combos. Perform a crouch only combo starting with crouching uh, square, which is crouching punch against a crouching opponent. All right. So crouch, crouch punch, stand punch, or crouch punch and punch forward slash bender revolver. Okay. I'll take it. There are certain combos that only connect when the opponent is in the crouching state. This will allow you to score more knockdowns against the opponent. So make sure you confirm the opponent's stance whenever you land a hit. Air throw. Back or forward plus R1, which is dust, when close to the opponent in the air. Air throw the opponent who is trying to approach you by double jumping. The trick to landing the air throw is to Im imagine you are grabbing them from below right after you jump. Damn, okay, hold on. He's doing a double jump? That doesn't even look right, but that's an air throw, all right. <laughs> All right. All right, we got it. Most of the characters air throw will knock the opponent down to the ground when successful. Although the damage is low, it will open up to more opportunities to set up your offense. Observe if your opponent, hold on, what is this? Opening up the opponent's d defense, low and overhead attacks, okay. Observe if your opponent is standing or crouching when blocking and perform the option where they are unable to block in their current state. Perform a low attack if they are standing and an overhead attack if they are crouching. Restrictions are ground throw, air throw, command throw. Gotcha. This is easy. Bam. All right. Bam. You better, you better block this, bro. Don't block low. I'm hitting you high. Got him. Thank you. Although dust attack is hard to react to, it is punishable when the opponent successfully blocks it. To safely perform a dust attack, make sure you have enough tension to perform a red or blue cancel, uh, blue Roman cancel, if they block the attack. Throw the opponent who is blocking on the ground to break their defense. You will fail the mission if you deal any damage to the opponent as aside from a throw. Alright, I'll throw. That's easy. So just this is just another way of opening up an opponent. Nice. Although the throw is a powerful tool in your arsenal, it could be easily interrupted with an attack or avoided with a jump. You can mix in an attack instead of throwing the opponent once you are in a throw range to catch them off guard. All right, opening up the opponent's defense, cross up. Uh, open up the opponent's defense with a cross up attack. Chip has many attacks suitable for cross up such as Alpha Blade, uh, the horizontal Alpha Blade, and jumping triangle, which is jumping slash. Restriction to ground throw, air throw, command. So we're just gonna Alpha Blade. How do you Alpha Blade? All right, there we go. This is a cross up here. As the player's positions change, the input command is also inverted, making it difficult for the opponent to counter with an invulnerable attack. Cross-up attacks are especially effective against an opponent with strong invul invulnerable moves. Uh, May will perform a cross-up jumping uh, heavy slash attack on you. Do not get tricked by the direction you are f facing and try to block her attack. She ain't gonna mix me. Bro, that's hard. How am I supposed to see that? Like, which way is she gonna... Alright, I got it. Alright, that's kind of ambiguous. Like, why would they have this... Although blocking cross-up attack is difficult, it will become easier to block if you observe your opponent's movement before the attack. You can predict which side their attack will hit by looking at the time, uh, the timing of their of their jump. Guaranteed punish. Block the opponent's invulnerable move and deal damage to them when they are vulnerable. Hold on, wait. Hold on, wait. Block the invincible move. Linda. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Nice. 
guaranteed punish. Aside from invulnerable moves, you can also punish other moves with a long recovery. Uh, find out which move is easily punishable before heading into a match. Perform a reversal, backdash, and escape from the opponent's attack. You are invulnerable for a short period right after you perform a backdash. Time your backdash right to, av to avoid the opponent's attack. Okay. Okay, so this is an invul backdash, huh? There we go. Um, although the reversal backdash may seem like a strong defensive technique at first glance, it is easily punishable if the opponent anticipates it incoming. Uh, mix it up with different defensive techniques to make your uh, yourself less predictable. Invulnerable move reversal. Counter the opponent's attack with a triangle which is slash volcanic viper after recovering from a knockdown observe your character's motion when recovering and learn the timing of when you can perform an invulnerable move reversal see this is this is my problem it's hard for me to do this in this game so they want me to dp on wake up uh, on wake up it's hard to do this for me for, for some reason this is my demon in this game. Alright, we got it. Even if you miss the uh, reversal and vulnerable move, it will make your opponent think twice about setting up an attack when you are knocked down the next time. Although reversal uh, and vulnerable move is risky, showing it to the opponent once will open up to other various defensive options. After knocking down the opponent with a sweep, crouching uh, R1, which is dust. Perform a safe jump with a jumping triangle, which is slash, block and, and punish the reversal vapor thrust. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. How are you supposed to do this? All right, let me try that again. But it's a safe jump. Okay. <laughs> that was kind of... Like, that's a safe jump, right? Or no? Alright. Alright. Alright, we'll take that. That's hard. <laughs> the opponent has some tension gauge available. Uh, they can Roman cancel the invulnerable move and start their own offense. Always remember to pay attention to the opponent's tension gauge when you are setting up an offense. Difference between each character's hurt box. Uh, practice the character's specific combo on Potemkin. Bandit revolver. Okay, okay, I see. Alright, alright. Alright, right, wait. Okay, specific character combos. I'm definitely gonna have to retry this. Nice. All right. Other than, other than combos, there are also character specific block strings to open up the opponent defense. Head into the training mode to discover the various character specific combos and block strings. Perform a special move and defeat the opponent with chip damage. So we're doing chip damage stuff. Alright, alright. Tension balance. Continue attacking from an advantageous position and trigger a positive bonus. Alright. When you are stuck on the wall, you can recover in three different directions by holding the directional input forward, backward, or neutral. Recover forward in the air to prevent your opponent from continuing their offense. Okay, wait. Damn. Hold on. I did
All right. They should just have me like stick on the wall. Like Potemkin beat me up just threw me off. <laughs> Let me just automatically stick to the wall. All right, we're good. There are certain strategies where the opponent might choose not to wall break and continue their offense in the corner. Make sure to recover in the air to prevent the opponent from continuing their offense. When in doubt, recover forward so you can switch positions and put the opponent in the corner. Soul will perform Fafnir and Roman cancel it to continue his offense. Do not uh, retaliate and continue blocking uh, his attack. Okay, showing off some guard crushes. Nice. It is common for the opponent's offense to become more aggressive after you block a guard crush move. Use faultless defense to draw distance between you and the opponent after blocking a guard crush move. Force the opponent to block a crouching circle, which is crouching heavy slash in the air and follow up with a charge stun edge to keep them blocking. The opponent will counter with an invulnerable move if there are any gaps in your attack. All right. All right. Whoa! Hey, bro, that was not it. Nah. <laughs> How they gonna just do that? Nah, that's crazy. Dang, CPU straight feeling himself. You saw that? Anti air attacks such as forward square, which is forward P, uh, which is 6P, floats the opponent when it is blocked in midair making it easier to continue your offense after they land. However, keep in mind that the opponent recovers earlier when they at instant block anti-air attack in the air. All right, frame advantage. Soul can move first if you block his uh, close slash. Continue block um, if you block against his close slash and interrupt with a fast attack when you block his crouching P. Bro, can I block? All right. Oh, he's switching it up? Bro. Bro, they be just throwing stuff at you. They don't give you like no type of hint or anything what they're about to do. Whenever you block with fault, faultless, faultless defense, it will take a little longer to be able to move again compared to when blocking normally. Do not use faultless defense to block if you plan on interrupting the opponents uh, after uh, attack after blocking. Uh, perform forward uh, square which is forward P and have a clash occur with May's circle which is heavy slash right after the clash May will perform an invulnerable move use faultless defense to block it P and then faultless defense all right this is gonna be tricky Uh, there is a high chance a clash will occur when two invulnerable moves overlap against each other. Input faultless defense right after an invulnerable move so that you can cancel into uh, it if a clash occurs. Soul matchup tutorial. Intercept the Fafnir after gun flame by attacking Soul before the moves becomes active. Okay. Just matchup knowledge here you can interrupt Fafnir dang they, they even give you matchup knowledge that is ridiculous whoa I like that uh, most of souls move leaves him at the advantage when blocked in addition he has wild throw a command grab move in his arsenal therefore it is unwise to stay blocking against him as he has many ways to open up your defense you have to be gutsy and counter attack sometimes to not let him set the pace of the match and you gotta be gutsy against soul i don't know about that man. 
Kai's matchup tutorial. Intercept Kai's Foldra arc performed after his heavy slash before it becomes active. So same thing just for Kai. Okay, I wasn't see I'm thinking he was gonna do the, the arc after the fireball. See, they don't tell you that. I don't even know if you can do the arc after the fireball, so how am I supposed to know? Uh, you can reduce Kai's advantage even when you block Foldra Arc by blocking it while standing. To increase your option after blocking, try to block his move while standing whenever possible. Alright, so main matchup tutorial. Intercept the heavy slash version of Mr. Dolphin horizontal after far slash before the move becomes active. Yep. I know about that one. Yes, sir. You can press an attack button at the moment when you are blocking the slash version of the move. By doing so, you can intercept the heavy slash version of the move while blocking the slash version. Axle matchup tutorial. Okay. Avoid the rainwater after the Gatling combination. Okay. So I'm pretty sure he's going to do 2K2D rainwater, right? Let's do it. Nope, it's not 2K2D. All right. All right. Wait, 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 wait. All right. Dang. The mission mode exposing everybody right now. Axel has several moves such as Sickle Flash and Snail to prevent you from jumping. However, those moves will put Axel at a disadvantage when you block them. Mix up between jump and block to apply pressure on Axel while you advance on him. Chip. All right, this is what I need right here. Some chip matchup tutorial. Attack the body double from the Gamma Blade from the Gatling combination. So I'm blocking, and then he's going to do the Gamma Blade clone thing, right? That's fast. That's fast. All right. There we go. So he actually takes damage from this. You hit his clone, he actually takes damage. I never really interrupt that. That's pretty fast. I don't know if any of y'all actually interrupt that string from Chip, but it's hard for me to actually interrupt that. The farther away you are from Chip, the longer it takes for the body double from the Gamma Blade to reach you. It will be easier to counterattack the body double with a high damage move if you faultless defense to separate yourself from Chip beforehand. All right, Potemkin matchup tutorial. Block the incoming Hammerfall and counter it with a fast attack after blocking. All right, so we're going to block Hammerfall and then 5k it. Bam. Uh, there are other uh, countermeasures, such as using a multi-hitting move to interrupt Batimkin when he is charging forward, or jumping to evade and land a counterattack when he is recovering. Once you land a counterattack, perform a high damage combo or knock Potemkin down to turn the tide in your favor. Alright, false matchup. This is what I need too. Counter false thrust, which uh, he will perform after slash heavy slash with a uh, forward P before it becomes active. I missed it. I missed it. 6P right there. See, y'all didn't even notice. I missed it again. Y'all didn't even know about this punish. I just... Okay, I gotta restart this. What y'all know about it? Y'all still losing a false because y'all don't know about this punish. Okay, I missed the last one. Alright. Uh, moves that hit high such as forward P are candidates for punishing thrusts. Although it is easy to punish this move, it is difficult to co uh, convert the punish into a combo. So make sure you research which move is the best for punishing it. Milia matchup tutorial. Counter the move that is performed after Capel. Capel. Okay. Dang, man. 
Man, she's juking me. I don't know if she's gonna fall. Alright. Um, if Melia successfully avoids a ground to air attempt, she can punish it with a combo or knock you down to continue her offense. Mix in options such as, such as air to air attempts or not doing anything to make yourself less predictable. Some Zato matchup? Man, y'all, y'all done messed up. Y'all shouldn't have shown me this. I'm about to be the best now. Intercept the second hit of Pierce performed after the standing heavy slash with a fast move. All right, all right. Just had to see how it looked. I missed it. I missed it again. I'm trying to attack Eddie. Let me try this again. No, no. Let me let me try it. How come I can't hit him, bro? I'm pressing the button. All right, there we go. I'll take that. I'll take that. That is crazy. All right, intercepting with a big move might leave uh, so suitable to an attack from Zato. Use moves with fast startup, such as crouching square, to in intercept the second hit. Ramathal matchup. What do you do against Ram? Escape from Ramathal's block stream where she uses heavy slash ball by by hit ball by. Heavy slash, you can escape by jumping forward. Uh, the sword explodes. Bro, this is the tech. This is what I do. They show you everything in here. You guys need to get on this right now. Well, I'm already on it. You could just watch me do it, I guess. Leo matchup tutorial one. Punish the. What is up with these names? What is what is up with these names? I'm gonna just call it the ZKG. Punish the ZKG that is performed after the Gatling combination by using a throw. This is the the cross up, right? Yeah. So I'm just throwing the cross up here. Nice. I'm pretty good at that actually. The ZKG does not cross up when performed from a distance. Leo is at a disadvantage when the ZKG does not cross up. So make sure to punish it. The Nago Ryuki matchup. Mm. Initiate an attack after the Fukio that is performed after the Gatling combination. Oof, I barely got that one. So it's right after the, the teleport. Nago Ryuki can cancel his special moves with another special move. Be on the lookout for Fukio after blocking his special moves. Oh man, I might skip this one. I can't let you guys know about this. This is, this is private information right here. Giovanna matchup tutorial. Avoid Giovanna's travail, travail. From a far distance with a jump and punish her with a jump attack when she whiffs. Alright. Okay. Land and lend a jump back attack. Oh. I still missed. Alright, let me restart it. I can't reach her. Bro, how am I supposed? Bro, I have to do some sort of tech to get it? I can't just do a normal jump back? Let me go back. I gotta retry everything. Bro, what? I got it. Travail is a high profile attack that does not reach the floor. You can use a low profile move such as Souls Crouching. R1, which is dust, to avoid the move and counterattack at the same time. Anji matchup, huh? Counter Suigetsu no Hakab Hakobi. Sogetsu no Hakabi with a ground throw. 
Mm, that's the tech. That is the tech. Very informative. Anji will be vulnerable uh, for the rest of the motion if he successfully dodges an attack with this move. Uh, there is also a possibility of you getting punished if he manages to dodge an attack with a long recovery. Be cautious and use moves with little recovery when you are on the offense against Anji. The Eno matchup. Well, what are they going to say here? Don't get mixed. All right, interrupt Eno's jump back attack after her sultry performance uh, with a fast attack. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, this is this is good stuff. This is good stuff. I like this. Yeah, this is some tech. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. You'll be at the advantage if you successfully block Eno Sultry performance. And she does not follow up with the forward jump. Uh, therefore, be ready to perform a fast attack whenever you block Soul Tree performance when, uh, when Eno does not have 50% uh, or more tension gauge. Go, Lewis! They had to update this, right? They updated this. There's no way Go, Lewis has one. All right. I was about to say Go, Lewis matchup tutorial. Go, Lewis will perform Burn It Down after his combo to continue his pressure. Jump and block the move in the air to escape from his offense. All right. I can't get out of that, that's impossible. Ha! Bro, there's no way. So I just have to block it. It says it right there. Okay, I got it. For some reason in my head, I thought I had to escape. My bad. That was my bad. But I'm blocking it there. Was he hitting me with a unblockable? Oh. You will be vulnerable to Gold Lewis's mix-up if you block Burn It Down on the ground. If you are forced to block it on the ground, be prepared to use the yellow Roman Cancel, which is the V-Reversal, or blue Psych Burst to escape this situation. Blue Psych Burst meaning to slow him down to get out the, to, to get out the corner, basically. Oh damn, not the combos. Alright, what is this? Uh-huh, boom, 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 red. Moment cancel. Uh, all, right, all, right, all right. That's weird. Why would they want me to do this combo? Oh, okay. I got, I got it. I'm a Geo main, by the way. See, I'm doing my combos now. Let me retry it. Nice. Move compatibility. Try winning against the opponent's move with forward square, forward P, 6P. Most characters with uh, forward square avoids high hitting moves while attacking. Oh, okay, okay. I got it. Got you. I don't know why I was trying to anti arrow. Got it. Uh, performing low profile moves or moves that leap before attacking all allows you to avoid the opponent's attack while attacking. When you are having difficulty facing certain characters, try out different moves against their attacks to see which of your moves are compatible against theirs. Dash input Roman cancel. So we're drifting now. Input the desired direction twice quickly or the dash button during Roman cancel. Utilize the dash input Roman cancel to hit the opponent with the shockwave 
from the red room to cancel. Alright. Alright. Uh, aside from using it with a, within a combo, you can use it during your block stream to close in on the opponent and continue your pressure. Search and try out the different ways to use the dash input Roman Cancel. Cancel the Roman Cancel. Uh, after pressing three attack buttons except for R1 simultaneously, which is dust, input the command of a move. Red Roman Cancel the close slash and cancel the Roman Cancel with Night Raid Vortex. Oh, okay. I think they want me to quick RC here. This is pretty much like this is pretty much fast RC or quick RC, however you want to whatever you want to call it. As it will make your offense face paced. Are they trying to say fast pace? It is also useful when you want to open up the opponent's defense. It is especially effective when you when used with a command throw as it, it cannot be easily avoided unless it was predicted beforehand. Land a forward triangle, so forward slash on the opponent and connect a bandit bringer only when you confirm that it counter hit. So more hit confirms but with counter hit. Oh, 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 my God. oh, that was a counter hit. Hit confirms, baby. Nice, nice. A counter icon will be displayed, and the system voice will notify you when a counter hit occurs. Find out which cues are easier for you to confirm. All right, sliding special move. Overwrite the startup of Potemkin's forward X with Potemkin Buster and land it from it otherwise impossible range. The trick to landing a sliding Potemkin Buster is to stagger your your square input after inputting uh I guess but I guess it's the, the Potemkin Buster, right? Hold on what wait 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 hold on what am I doing? I gotta restart. I gotta read it again. Oh man. I don't know anything about Potemkin. Okay. Bro, this is hard. I'm not gonna front. Hold on. Bro, I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to press square right after this, right? That's how it's supposed to be done. I might this might be it. This might be the end of the, the mission mode for me. This might be it, chat. I don't know if I can continue. Am I doing the first part right? I'm I'm supposed to be doing that right, the, the shoulder. But I'm trying to immediately press square to perform the Potemkin Buster, right? I know I have to plank it. That's it, I like that. <laughs> As the sliding special move will fail if you input too slow, which I was doing, try to incorporate the normal move command while inputting the special move to increase your success rate. Uh, a good combination for the technique will be unique move uh, with the forward direction and a special move with the input that ends uh, in the dire uh, forward direction. Application of Roman Cancel. This mission's combo requires high execution. Well, that's it for me. As it requires you to perform a Roman Cancel, cancel together uh, with a dash input roman cancel try to successfully perform the combo close slash crouching heavy slash, I don't know. Mm -hmm. roman cancel night rate mm -hmm. okay all right all right, all right all right we got it we got it i think i don't know if i could do that again I think I'm a soul main now. Mm, my soul looking nice. 
What y'all know about this? I messed up. Dang it, I gotta try it again. Why can't I get Bandit Revolver there? Alright, I gotta get all three. Alright, it's the last one. I gotta get this one. Oh, I got the two hits right there, too. Alright, we good. The combo showcase only one application of the technique. Uh, you can not only dash cancel forward, but also in the up and down direction to extend your combo or mix up. Super freeze counter. Counter Kai's overdrive move with an invulnerable move of your own after the super freeze. The trick is to complete your input right before the super freeze ends. I didn't even know you can DP this. Oh shoot. You gotta do this really fast. Uh, some overdrive moves are hard to punish after blocking them. Aim for a super freeze counter for such moves. Instant block. Block Ramathal's uh, Dar Daro? with an instant block and punish it with a close slash. So, uh, the trick to landing a successful instant block is to return your directional input to neutral and match your block's timing with the incoming attack. Alright, let's try that again. That was an instant? Was that instant or no? This is hard. I've never really intentionally an instant block before in this game. Okay, let's get two more. Alright, let's get one more. Let's finish it. Let's go. Alright, we added her. Instant blocking a move where the opponent will be at an advantage will put you further at a disadvantage due to being close in their proximity. Only use instant block on moves where you can move before the opponent. Punish the blue psych burst. Bait the opponent's blue psych burst by landing an attack and attack them after blocking the, the burst. So you're burst baiting. It will be easier to guard the burst if you bait the opponent's uh, with a jump cancelable attack. Bro, how they know about the meta? People just start doing it this week. <laughs> that's the that's the that's the bait. How they know? Uh you can deal guaranteed damage by using moves that are not burst uh burstable, such as a throw or overdrive move. Keep that in mind when you want to prevent your opponent from bursting. Uh punish the gold psych burst. Uh, the opponent will perform a gold psych burst after you knock them down with a sweep, uh, crouching R1, which is dust. Punish their burst attempt after blocking it. Wait, wait how am I supposed to? Bro, I can't even reach them though. I pressed it. All right. Uh, blocking the burst with an instant block will not knock you back, allowing you to punish it with a high damaging combo, a starter move such as close slash. Fuzzy guard. Block all of the opponent's mix up of low and overhead attacks. You will be able to block all incoming attacks by switching from crouch, crouching block to overhead block at the right time. All right. Okay. He went low. When is he gonna go high? There is the high. I got mixed. Nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. 
Okay. All right. I think he's going to go high here for sure. Uh-huh. Nice. Uh, once you are used to switching from a crouching block to a standing block, uh, try going back to a crouching block after the standing block. By doing so, you will be able to block the incoming low special attack that comes after an overhead attack. Fuzzy jump. Defend against the mix-up between a low attack and throw after blocking an attack. You can defend against the two options by continuing uh, continue blocking for a short moment after blocking the first attack before jumping. Gotcha. All right. Uh huh. He didn't do nothing, Magola. Oh. How? How? What am I supposed to do there? That is fast. Okay. Bro, there's no way. I ain't reacting to that, man. Okay, I see it. I see it. I'm getting mixed. Hold on, let me restart this. That's fast. I'm getting mixed out here, man. Just let me go on. Let me let me go to the next one. Be prepared to go back in the fray after landing from a successful fuzzy jump attempt. Utilize faultless defense and double jump so you can safely land after a fuzzy jump attack. Uh, punishing fuzzy. Crush your opponent's fuzzy jump. Crushing block to jump. Attempt with a delay attack. By delaying your sweep from your close slash, you can land your attack right when your opponent switch to standing block. Got it. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. As you can tell from the offensive and defensive strategies revolving around the various fuzzy, no defensive strategy is perfect. Assess the situation during a match and choose the appropriate defense strategy during the match. Throw clash. The opponent will attempt a throw after a jump attack. Time your throw with the opponents uh, to make a throw clash occur. All right, so just check the throw. Wait. Hey, you can't. Nah, you can't blame that on me. I just threw him. Step up your CPU game. How they gonna make me fail that? All right. After a throw clash, both players will draw distance between themselves and the situation return to neutral. Uh, you can attack with a long attack or dash and again to initiate an offense. Always have a plan after a throw, uh, a throw clash and not get caught off guard. Combos for finishing off the opponent. Defeat, all right, defeat the opponent who is low on health. The opponent will psych burst if the, if the combo you use is too long. I don't know any soul combos. I'm just gonna super. Is this gonna kill him? Nice. The burst gauge also increases faster when the character health is low. It is optimal to use overdrive when the opponent's health is low as it deals massive damage while preventing them from bursting. Uh, countering reversal and vulnerable move. The opponent will perform a reversal and vulnerable move after recovering from a knockdown. Use the back dash to avoid their attack and punish them. They will moment cancel if you block the attack and the situation will be reversed. Uh, Alright, boy. What's up? Nice. Although invulnerable moves that do not require tension gauge cannot counter 
most incoming attacks, the user still uh, will still be vulnerable to throws, depending on the opponent's tension, gauge, and position. You can block, evade, or perform a throw to punish their invulnerable move attempt. Soul Matchup Tutorial 2. Intercept the incoming Night Raid Vortex with a low hitting move. Damn, that was fast. Alright, alright. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. That was easy. Soul will be in the counter hit state when he gets hit by an attack when he is advancing forward with a fight raid vortex. Find out which low hitting move can deal the most damage when it counter hits. Kai matchup tutorial 2. Defeat Kai who has a little health left. They should have gave me soul for this one. Uh, you would want to avoid the situation where you stop attacking Kai just when his life is low enough to use Dragon Assault. Try to reduce his life as much as possible even if you cannot defeat him in the current combo. May matchup tutorial to counter the great Yamada attack. I don't even know what Yamada is. What? You can go under it? Oh no, they shouldn't have shown me this. Mm. Although this move may look flashy at first glance, it might whiff when you are crouching or you might even be able to dash through the move if you are low enough. Practice in training mode to find other ways to deal with this move. Axel matchup tutorial 2. Block the incoming sickle flash while avoiding the winter mantis by jumping. You will fail this mission whenever you jump when winter mantis is not out. Oh, that's the command grab. No, it's not. Hold on. What? What am I doing here? What am I doing? Oh, okay. Let me restart. I mean, I thought the. All right, let me pay attention. Oh man, why is this low key fast? <laughs> Ooh. You know what throws me off? It's I can't move my character during this. Like right now. When it says go and I'm just standing there, it's because I can't move. Only thing I could do is block or jump. So that's the only thing that's really throwing me off in some of these. That's why I, you know, I failed a couple times. This move gets slower the closer you are to Axel. Keep advancing forward so you can react to it when used. Once you are in the close range, you can punish it after you jump to avoid the move. Uh, chip matchup tutorial 2. Intercept the alpha blade after the Gatling combination. Attack right after the side switch. Oh, okay, so you want me to punish before he gets on the wall? Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Uh, pressing the button too early will have you perform the attack before Chip crosses up. Delay your attack for a short moment and punish it with a combo that starts with a counter hit in the air. Potemkin matchup tutorial 2. Counter the incoming uh, Gigantor Kai with the throw. I just learned about this. I can't throw? Alright. 
I gotta get this last one. Okay. Please get this. Thank you. You can also counter this move with an invulnerable move considering the positioning and damage after punishing the move and find the optimal move for punishing this move. What the hell was that sentence? <laughs> False matchup tutorial 2. Block the scarecrow. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got mixed. <laughs> I definitely got mixed. Okay. False will be at the advantage if uh, you block the charge version of the move. Make sure to intercept the move if he is charging the move. In addition, he will also be able to avoid low, prof low profile attacks by using the slash version of the move. Milia matchup tutorial 2. Punish the Marat. Punish the move after the Gatling combination. Okay, alright. All right. All right, I know what I'm looking at now. Okay. Clean. Uh, th uh, this move will switch the position between Milia and her opponent when performed at the close range. Be careful if you intend to punish with a unique move as the command's direction will be inverted. Zato matchup tutorial 2, escape from the range of a pose. If you accidentally attack Eddie during a pose, you can follow up with the red woman cancel to keep yourself safe. In addition, you'll also be able to interrupt the move if you land the shockwave on Zato. Remethal matchup tutorial. Punish the incoming Cal Calvados. Calvados? Okay. Am I jumping over it or? I'm just interrupting. Hey, it has a lot of startup, huh? Okay, that's good to know. Uh, it is better to block Calvados in the air if you ever intended to punish the move after blocking. If you block it on the ground, Remathog and Purple will make cancel it and go for a mix-up. Leo matchup tutorial 2. Punish the special guard with the low attack. Okay. What? <laughs> I'm blocking. Alright. Although Leo can move or cancel into an attack while in the special guard stance, it is not a threat once you know its properties. Stay calm when facing it and take the appropriate measures. Uh, Nagariyuki matchup tutorial 2. Avoid the combination of Zara Miyuki and Fukio that is performed after the Gatling combination with a jump. Mm. Nice. Although it will increase the blood gauge, there are times where Nagariyuki will cancel to Zara Mikiyuki into Fukio. As blocking, okay, man. So blocking the move will put you at a disadvantage. You will have to continue blocking or try to avoid the move with a jump. Giovanna matchup tutorial two. Interrupt Giovanna's soul point pointe. 
Poente that she will perform after a Gatling combination with a fast attack. Okay, alright, I don't even know what move this is. Alright, it's that one. Alright, I'm gonna just 6P it. Yeah, that's it right there. Mm-hmm. Nice. Uh, there are also other uh, countermeasures such as jumping straight up or using a low profile move to dodging Soul Puente. Just blocking Soul Puente will not put you in a good situation, so make sure you have several options ready to deal with the move. Anji matchup tutorial 2. After knocking down Anji with a sweep uh, down on one, he will perform Ka Kachofu Getsu Kai right after or after recovery wait before wait for a brief moment and attack him when he is vulnerable uh -huh. Uh -huh. little window there huh nice i did not know that I thought after he did that counter super, he was able to block right after. Anji is also vulnerable to throws during the Kacho Fuigetsu Kai stance. Mixing in throws during your offense will be a great uh, deterrence against this move. By having 50% tension gauge, you can make uh, your throw safe by performing a purple Roman cancel when it whips. Eno matchup tutorial 2. After knocking Eno down with a sweep. Uh, down R1, she will perform ultimate Fortis Fortissimo right after recovering. Uh, be ready to block the first hit after ultimate Fortissimo and punish her before the second hit is out. Hey, don't get me started. I was about to go in. They had to stop me. Man, I'm blocking. I'm gonna just keep going. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Eno will be airborne when you punish her ultimate Fortissimo before the second hit is out. Head into the training mode and find the optimal combo to perform when punishable or when punishing this move. Gold Lewis matchup tutorial 2. Interrupt the behemoth typhoon that will be performed after a crouching slash with a fast attack only when the behemoth typhoon is performed with a quarter circle up input, right? Got him. Nice. Uh, quarter circle up, a human typhoon lands earlier. When you're standing, stay in the crouching position if you're aiming to counter this move. Uh, oh, we're doing combos. Shoot, what is this? Close slash. Yeah. Standing slash. I mean, standing heavy slash. I messed up. Don't count that. Okay. Whatever, I did it. Oh, snap. That was it. Was that all of them? Boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay. That wasn't that bad.